mama fault. This is how my mama made me. I've been magnetic since I was a baby. We're going home for a while, thank God. We'll always keep writing, and but we're trying to get on like a much bigger tour this summer and go open for somebody and have the opportunity to play for people who don't know who we are yet. You may be a small Sunday night crowd, but you are fucking mighty. It's the reason I do it. I mean, that's what I've, you know, like me being a teenager, like listening to records and knowing every single word and going to the show and mouthing along to everything was the whole point. My, I always say like whether we're in the studio or whether we're live or whatever, like. If Iggy wouldn't do it, I'm not gonna do it. You know, I don't, I don't want bells and whistles. I'm, I am my own bell and whistle. Oh, the police just came by and we have to turn down. That's gorgeous, call page six. Go! It's fun, it's filthy, it's a party, but we actually all can fucking play our instruments. We take it seriously how well we play, and we take writing songs very seriously, but the whole point of rock and roll is fun, and is to get laid, and is to inspire people to make new friends, and. We take being dangerous and getting laid very seriously. <laughs> Drunk bitches, who then I walk off stage, so they talk through my whole beautiful brand new song. That's the best song I ever written. They fucking talk the whole thing. And then I get off the fucking stage, like, well, you need to sign my tit, and you, I need to touch your ass. I was like, no, you fucking talk through my song. I, you don't get to do shit. You don't get to touch anything. Well, I'm glad you appreciate it. It's like my version of a love song, if you will. It came from, um, I don't. <laughs> love never makes sense, and it's always a really weird thing and so I just kind of tried to like talk about how beautiful that weirdness is. Debbie, girl, get Kelly a drink and get, what's your name? And get Jessica's drink too. You know, I mean I'll just go get it. Dan, drummer Dan, he really really likes to have a lot of sex and I was like how do you think about sex so much? And he's like well the, all the time you spend thinking about getting famous, I spend thinking about having sex. I just, it's all I want, like working, one, I really like working hard, it's really fun. Um, if I don't work hard, I feel like I've wasted a lot of time. And it's so funny, because I, you know, now that you can do it off of my phone, like, my parents know exactly what's happening throughout my whole day without even talking to me now, which is really odd. Because I'll call them and be like, oh my god, it's so good. Like, oh, we know. And I'll be like, oh, weird. Yeah. It's a private fucking semi precious weapons party at a fucking dyke bar in Dallas. Moving closer. I wish I had some sort of advice or magical solution, but it's just how we do it. I don't, there's no point to do it if I'm gonna do it half-assed. Why even try? And to me it's all the same, whether it's designing a necklace, or doing a photo shoot, or doing a video shoot, or performing live, or writing a song, like, it's all the exact same creative process, and it's all the exact same, all of it is a, a some way to get to what I want. And I always want people to say I was the best, whether it's a photographer, whether it's, you know, someone who made a video, whether it's an audience, I always want them to think that I was the best they've ever seen. Her hair, her hair, her hair is on fire. She don't want no water, let her fuck.